Morning. It's day 21 of Trying Across Europe, starting with just a penny. In order to donate as many seeds as possible to help people who can't put food on the table, learn how to grow their own veg and become self-sustaining. I've got £2.17 and after yesterday's failed survival challenge, I've got no food and this morning, I've drunk most of the water, so I'm down to that. Today, I have to get to Budapest. I've been paddling a few hours already, but I reckon I'm still at least 50 kilometers out. But even if I have to paddle all day and all night, I have to get there today so I can start making money again. Today is gonna be a slog. It's absolutely roasting out. I'm feeling severely dehydrated, but we're gonna get it done. The river's been pretty stagnant this morning, so I've had to paddle quite a lot, which is why I've consumed most of the water. But the river gets narrower, hopefully very shortly, and I'll be able to put the drag anchor out and let the river do most of the work. Today is gonna be the hardest day of the mission so far. Battling hunger, dehydration, and my own mind. But we're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. We don't have any other choice. So for now, let's keep paddling till we can get to a cafe where I can buy a little donut refill my water and we slog it out. Ones and twos, relentless ones and twos as Hardest Geezer would say. Hey, if Hardest Geezer can run the length of Africa, I can get to Budapest. As I inched closer to Budapest, the reality that the kayaking leg of this trip was coming to an end began to set in. Well, we're almost there, uh, we're almost there. A bittersweet melancholy pulled my stomach. I'll tell you what, this has been the best part of the trip but I'm ready for some shade. I can barely talk, man. Happy to have experienced such a beautiful five days, sad for it to be coming to an end, and excited for the adventure into the unknown that the next nine days hitchhiking through Eastern Europe would surely be. Little did I know how crazy it would get. Should we take the scenic route around this little island? A soothing bit of shade. And we're back on the main stretch. That sun's come out to torment me again. And I'm Struggs. I'm really Struggs. But we're gonna win. We're winning today, we're gonna win. By winning, I mean, we're not, we're not gonna die. We're gonna get to do Budapest. Blah, 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 blah. Alles gut. Alles gut. The river's a lot narrower here than it was back there, and I was expecting that to mean the flow would be mad, but the flow hasn't picked up that much, so I haven't put my makeshift plastic bag drag anchor out yet. But hopefully it'll pick up further downstream. I know it goes real fast through Budapest, so hopefully at some point before then it'll pick up. <laughs> Every time I film, it looks like I'm not paddling at all. I am actually hauling us in between shots but it's hard to paddle and hold the camera so uh, I'm not being as lazy as it would seem. I spy a little jetty, a little jetty and a human. This could be where we get our supplies. I really don't have the energy to deflate, hoik around and inflate that. So the kayak's staying there. Fingers crossed it doesn't get stolen. Let's go sort ourselves out. The kayak's still here. Adios civilization. Buddha Buddha pest. I'm coming for ya. Water acquired. Things are looking up. I've already smashed half of it, as you can see. And I've got 200 grams of peanuts, which is 1,250 calories. You know things are die when you're counting the calories. Oh, la, la. This will get me to Budapest. I'm feeling a little more confident now. Peanuts never tasted so good. We're still about 30 k's from Budapest. But I can do that, not a problem. Watch me, yo. But this extravagant nut purchase has left us with 59p to my name, so I'm not sure I'll be having any dinner tonight. It means that tomorrow, we absolutely have to go make some cashish, some of that sweet, sweet cheddar jong cheese. It's day 21, we'll be arriving in Budapest. It gives us nine days to get to Istanbul, so I'm gonna have to dig my heels in and really go for it from now on. These nuts and water have really brought me back to life. A really present, Enjoying my last day on the river. What a time to be alive. I'm tempted to just let myself drift, but I also got to haul a little bit of ass. Onwards. There's also a little more traffic on the water. Kayakers 
boat. So we're definitely getting closer. I've almost smashed five liters of water today, which shows just how dehydrated I was. Hopefully we've managed to avoid those kidney stones because don't fancy peeing them out. Hello, Centendra. They've noticed my arrival and they're sounding the church bells. Cheers, guys. What a warm welcome. Wavy. This is wavier than a night out in Bristol. He's come for a chat. Hello. What's that? <laughs> I go Bratislava to Budapest. Budapest. Yeah. Uh, ambition. English. Uh -huh. Yeah. Swansea. Swansea kilometer. Okay, perfect. Have a good day. Guten Tag. My man just wanted a chat, but he ended up blasting me with waves nearly did a titanic up in here oh yeah and if you guys remember john he told me to tell you guys not to do this at home if you ever decide to kayak down the danube wear a life jacket apparently i'm a very silly boy for not doing that public service announcement over 20 k to go and the sun is shining harder than it has this whole trip you're testing me but you won't beat me i'm coming for you buddha 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 pitch. Buddha, 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 just come to a little ferry crossing. Let's pause. We'll let the ferry cross first. Biggest vehicle wins kind of thing. Beeping me out the way. Let's turn around, paddle against the stream. And we'll walk around him. Sound of the ferry. And we're away. Very, those nuts have given me an, an unexpected burst of energy, so I'm gonna harness that. Let's get it. Actually, let's not waste our energy. Slow and steady wins the race. And in this race, I'm the tortoise. And I believe that bridge right there is the last bridge before Budapest. Yes. Hey, Mr. Dot. This is Luna Siget. I believe it's the last island before Budapest. A lot of lasts at the moment. We've got some very serious kayaking. Hello, hello, hello. God, this is claustrophobic, isn't it? Hello. Last island before Budapest. Hopefully the last bit of rain before Budapest. And when it comes to Muppets driving speedboats right next to you when you're on a kayak, best way to face the waves is front on. We're currently under the last bridge before Budapest. The kayaking is coming to an end, folks. And we're clear of it. Now it really feels like this is coming to an end. We've got our last bit of nature before we hit Budapest outskirts. And the boat traffic is picking up, so we're definitely close. Wavey. Hey, ducks. Waves incoming. Oh, that's that guy from 20k's back upstream who stopped and rocked me with waves. Wave ja vu. I can see Budapest there on the horizon in the distance. The weather's coming in hot. Looks like there's a storm following me. Nice tailwind pushing me down the river though. We're nearly there. We're definitely entering the outskirts. Plenty of activities happening on the banks. We're in Budapest. You can start to see the high rises over there. We're still very much on the outskirts, but uh, we're getting there. I'm gonna get off at a kayaking club right in the center. So we'll get to enjoy the beautiful Budapestian skyline or waterline, riverline. First set of high rises. We did it boys and girls. We survived the Danube. Right, where are we landing? Because we can't land in the centre. We're landing at a kayak club, just outside the centre. So we might not get to see the beautiful river line. Oh no, big boating coming. That means waves. I know a lot of people come to Budapest to get wavy, but not sure this is exactly how they do it. Okay, now we're getting into Budapest. Good fish. <laughs> Good luck. Well, there's Budapest city centre, and here's where we get off. Oh no, they've locked the gate. That gate is well and truly locked. Okay, I guess we're going a bit further. We've got spikes around it and all. Oh, we're skirting that. That was the last jetty before the city centre, which is up there. So let's hope, let's really hope, there's another option. Oh, there we go. That is the main view. This one looks a bit better. 
Sorry guys. We made it to the Blue Devil Fest. I'm knackered. But we did it. Did it! We made it to Budapest, but this is far from the end of the journey. We've still got nine days to go to get to Istanbul. I'm absolutely cream crackered, so I'm not going to bother trying to make any money tonight. The sun's about to go down. We've been paddling since dawn. I'm going to find somewhere to sleep, find some food. I've got a cunning plan for that because my 59p just ain't going to crack it. And tomorrow's another day. Dumpster diving for some bizarre reason is illegal in Budapest. So I definitely didn't take a sandwich out of the supermarket bin and eat it. Oh no, I'd never do that. I then found a bush in a park stinks of dog shit everywhere and passed out faster than Michael Jackson after a visit to his doctor. 